Hey, what is going on everyone? Chaos here, bringing you another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get Pixelmon 3.0. I believe the mod just came out either yesterday or uh, today. So it's really recent and I thought, you know what, let's just try to... Uh, Go with the crowd and let's uh, let's do a little tutorial on it. Okay, so I know in the last tutorial my uh, directions were a little bit vague, so I'm going to fix that and show you guys every single step to take so there will be no confusion whatsoever. Okay, the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to back up your Minecraft file. And uh, if you don't know how to do that, you will need to go to uh, your percent, app data percent. I'm going to show you it right now like so this is just in case anything goes wrong and you can see your dot minecraft and you can just copy it and you can paste it onto your desktop so you'll just have an extra one and uh, I'm not gonna do that because I already know what to do okay so let's go on with the yeah uh, the tutorial okay so the first things that you're gonna see on my desktop are the forge which I just named Pixelmon forge just for the uh, showcase and the mod itself in the folder to get these, you're going to go into the description, and you'll find them just in the description below, and they'll bring you to these two pages. These two pages are the forge and the actual mod itself. Okay, so for the forge, which you saw on the desktop right here, you're going to want to click the latest one, which is the installer right here, and it will bring you to an ad fly, and once you wait for that, then you'll just uh, download it. It's going to appear uh, at the bottom of your screen. And for Pixelmon, it's going to be the website also below, and you're going to see Mirror 3. I just think uh, Mirror 3 is the easiest because they're both AdFly, and AdFly really works best. And you're going to download both of those, and you can either just leave them right in your folder, or you can put them on your desktop. I prefer desktop because you get like a lot of room. Okay, so once you get both of these, you're going to want to double-click your Forge either in the folder or the desktop, and you're going to hit Install Client. I'm not going to install it because I already have it on, and uh, it's just on there, and I don't want to get double of anything. But I don't have Pixelmon, so once you get uh, Forge installed, you're going to want to run your Minecraft. Cat, you're going to want to run your Minecraft. You're going to want to run your Minecraft one time just to make sure everything's working. I'm going to show you it now. Just so you guys know, you'll have some closure and you can see everything's just going uh, completely fine. Okay, so here we go. Minecraft Forge 9.11 point with numbers, numbers everywhere. It's the right Forge. And then you see all your mod list. Okay, we can exit out of that because we know everything is good. And before you even install Forge, if you just have a clean Minecraft, you need to run 1.6.2 at least one time. I'm going to actually show you guys how to do that just in case you don't know. And I'll try to keep this quick because I know you guys like fast tutorials. Okay, so let's say you're on uh, your regular account, mine's Chaos X Craft. You're going to want to go to versions, and then you're going to see a bar right here, and you're going to click 1.6.2. And then you will uh, be able to run your forge. Okay, so the next thing you're going to want to do is go to your percent, app data percent, like I was just in. And you're going to want to go to your dot Minecraft. I have a lot because I'm downloading a uh, lot of mine pack. Um, uh, what do you call it? Mod packs. Okay, and you're going to see your mods folder. If you don't have a mods folder, you can just make one. You can do new folder right here. And then you could just name it mods. I don't need one because mine showed up like it's supposed to do. And then once you have that, you're going to want to simply just, all you got to do, drag your Pixelmon mod right in there. And then you should be good to go. Okay, let's run Minecraft again. And now, if anything doesn't work for you guys, I already tried this before. Uh, if anything doesn't work and you just want to ask some questions, just make sure to comment below and I'll see if I can get back to you. If I can't, I'll just say I'm a little bit confused and I'm not, uh, I'm not really an expert with this stuff, but I'm pretty sure I know what is going on. Okay, let's go to mods and there we go, Pixelmon 2.5.7, which is the right one. I know it says 2.5.7, but just trust me, trust me. I'm not lying. <laughs> I know what I'm doing here. I'm an expert. All right, let's check it out. Yep, here we go. Everything seems to be working fine. We've got our regular trademark. And there we go. We are in our Pixelmon stage. And we've got a little beautiful Tepig coming down. Okay, everyone, hopefully you enjoyed that tutorial. I'm actually going to close out of that so there are no... Uh, piggy noises hopefully you guys enjoyed that tutorial if it really did help you I would really appreciate a like 
Uh, it does help me more than you think. And if you want to subscribe, just to make sure you guys can uh, just watch all my other tutorials, or if you just want to stick around and watch my Minecraft series. Alright everybody, thanks for watching. Hopefully it'll work for all you guys and you can go catch Pokemon all over the Minecraft world. Alright everyone, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the future. Peace off.